Hello watchers and dear subscribers, this is again Shrakes from SmartHerd. Welcome back to 44th Android app development tutorial. This is the continuation of the multiple screen support part 5 tutorial in Android. Now let us design our layouts for the landscape mode for our application Android interview. Now here in our Eclipse in the last video I showed you how you can design the multiple layouts for the portrait mode for all small, large, normal and x large screens. Now in this video I will show you how you can design the landscape mode layout for all such devices. For that we have to make 4 more folders for the landscape layouts. So just right click on resource, go to new, create a folder, layout, small, land, right? Now here we have created layout small land. Similarly create the landscape mode folder for layout normal land, layout large land and layout x large land. Now here I have already created layout large land, layout normal land, layout x large land and layout small land. So what we are gonna do we have to copy and paste the corresponding layouts of the portrait mode into the landscape folders. Right, let us start with this small layout. Just copy it and paste it inside the layout small land. Then correspondingly, copy the normal layout and paste it inside the normal land. Fine. Now similarly perform the action for layout large, copy and paste it inside the layout large land and for the x large, copy and paste it into a x large land. Right. So here I have done my job. I have copied and pasted the corresponding portrait layout into the landscape layout. Now do one thing. Let us start with our small layout. Close others. Right. Now here this is our layout in the portrait mode. Now do one thing. Go to this option. Drop down the list and switch to landscape mode. Then you can see automatically the layout present inside the small land folder that is frontpage.xml has been opened. The tab which was present here has now switched to this tab. So this is our landscape mode and in the landscape mode our layout of the small screen size will appear like this. So what we are gonna do we just have to modify the layout attributes of the button and rearrange it in our screen. Fine. So do one thing go to the layout. Now change the layout width to 150 dp and let the height remain as 40 dp and just add one more attribute text size. As in the portrait mode we were using the default text size in the landscape mode we will use the text size as 15 sp. Fine. Now replace all these attributes in all the buttons. Now go to the graphical layout what we have to do just rearrange all these buttons. Now after rearranging the buttons in the landscape mode in the small screen size our layout will look like this. Now just save it now do one thing go to the portrait mode in the portrait mode our layout will look like this and in the landscape mode our layout will look like this. So we are done with the layout of the small screen size now let's do one thing open the layout normal. This is a portrait mode. Now let's go to the landscape mode. It will automatically open the layout of the normal land folder. Now here again we have to modify our dimension without altering the ID of any of the button. Now in the landscape mode of the normal size screen our layout will look like this and in the portrait mode our layout will look like this. So we are also pretty done with the normal screen size. Now let us now modify the layout of the large screen size. This is our portrait mode. Now go to the next state in the landscape mode. Just modify the button dimensions as per your wish. Now here I have modified the button dimension as you can see in the right hand side of the screen what dimension I have taken and after altering the dimension I have just rearranged the buttons on the screen. So in the landscape mode of the large screen size our layout will look like this and in the portrait mode our layout will look like this. So we are now pretty done with the large screen size layout. Now let us open the x large go to the landscape mode our layout is looking like this pretty awkward. I have rearranged the buttons in the landscape mode of the x large screen. Now guys it is not at all recommended 
to use such approach in case you are designing the layout for the tablets. For the case of tablets, we will use fragments in the upcoming tutorials. Just as a beginner, I am showing you how you can design the layout for the tablet if your layout is very simple. For the complex layouts, it is not at all recommended to use this approach because these folders are deprecated for the tablet screen in 3.2 Honeycomb and above versions. So always use frag fragments and use the folders SW320DP, SW480DP, SW600DP and SW720DP. As I discuss all these folders in our multiple screen layout tutorials number 2. So go back and check that tutorial. So we are now pretty done with our landscape layouts we have. So this is all about this video guys. In the next video, we will start designing the layout of the simple questions and we are going to design that with the help of the linear layout. So, so hope you guys now know how you can design and make your application compatible with all the, all the screen sizes and API versions. So catch you guys in the next tutorial. This is Shrek from SmartHerd. Please comment, like and share our video because we need your immense support to grow. See ya. Thank you and have a good day.